In this video, I'd like to talk about a new import functionality that's now available in Microsoft Forms. Currently, this option isn't available within office.com. As you can see, we don't have that function available here. So for this to work, currently we need to be in forms.office.com. So here we can see uh, we've got some new functionality. They've split out uh, quizzes and new forms. So we've got two separate buttons for those. We have an import button here, which we're going to look at in a second. And also uh, you've got some new templates as well uh, available to you. So to get started importing uh, a document, we can either import a Word document or a PDF. Both work just the same. So to start off with, I can select import and this will then ask me where I wish to import this document from. So it's going to come in from my uh, this device so I can select either a Word or a PDF file. Click the centre of the box. This will then open up my file explorer and as you can see I've got the option to either bring things in from a desktop or from a OneDrive. Uh, in this case, uh, I've got uh, a quizzes option available in my uh, Cloud Academy OneDrive here. Once that's open, I've got these two documents here, Capital Cities of the World. One's in Word format uh, and one's in PDF, so we can look at both. So what I do is select the document I wish to bring over and then click Open. It will then give you a little converting window here. It will then give you a success message if everything's come over OK and either you can import another one or we can start the review and also here as well we can see we've got the capital cities of the world has now been added to my list of forms so i'm just going to start the review so if I click the button this opens up here on the right hand side of the screen we get a review quiz if anything has gone wrong with the upload uh, it doesn't upload pictures very well uh, and diagrams so we usually find in this review quiz area here we'll see a whole host of errors. But as this is just a plain uh, Word document that we've brought over, uh, at the moment this is uh, showing as empty. So I can close that down. And it's always good practice just to have a quick uh, look through the form and just review that everything has come over uh, without any problems. Now because I want to actually set this up as a self-marking quiz, I now have to actually do a little bit of work within the form. So at the top of the page, click on theme so I can give it a, an attractive background. I can then change the title if I wish. Uh, I can also uh, change the instructions. I also get the option as well of being able to bring in uh, a picture. So I can insert media here as well. So let's put a bit quick search in. Let's put a nice sort of city picture in there. And uh, that will do something like that. Let's just add that. And also, again, as I, say, I can just make sure that this is all set to a large font and I'm going to make it bold as well. I can insert a new line if I wish, but as this has already come over, no problem. I'm just going to leave it as it is. So now that I've got a picture uh, inserted with the title of the quiz, I'm going to leave the instructions as they are. And I can now come down to the questions. And as this is going to be a self-marking quiz, I now need to mark up uh, which is the correct answer and also give it a points value as well. So looking at the question, what is the capital city of France? The answer to that is Paris. I need to hover over the answers. Uh, Paris is at the top here. So I now click on the answer. That puts a tick in the circle to signify the correct answer. And also beneath that, I need to give it a points value. I do also have the option of being able to set it up for uh, multiple answers. So if you uh, have set a quiz where uh, you're expecting more than one answer from your students, you can do that like we can in any form. And also I can set this to a required question as well. So the student cannot leave the quiz until they've answered that particular question. I'm just going to leave that switched off for the time being. So I can now work my way down the form. Next question, what is the capital of Norway? Again, click over on the answers, in this case Oslo, and I must remember then to give it a point. And I can then work my way all the way down that quiz. At any time, if I want to just have a quick look, see what it looks like, I can click on preview. So this is what our students are going to be doing when they come to see the quiz. As you can see now, we've got a points allocation here for these top two, because I haven't done the rest of the questions yet. 
and then just to get back again I can click back but also if I want to have a look at a mobile view as well if we're going to set it as a piece of homework that potentially our students would be doing uh, using a mobile device I can also click on the mobile view as well so which is really quite nice so I'm going to click back and that takes me back to the uh, questions again and I'm just going to work through this list now uh, and apply uh, all of the correct answers ready for putting it into potentially into an assignment piece. That has now set up the multiple choice questions. I also have at the bottom of this quiz the option to do uh, a long answered question as well. In this case we're going to look at question 11 out of all the cities above which one would you like to visit the most and why? Um, I can set this up for a long answer or a short answer so just by sliding the button over and also I can give that a points value as well so potentially if I was looking for five points I could be looking for five key things that the students need to enter on the answer again I can then just give that a, a points value to, to suit my expectation on that once I've finished it I can have a quick preview have a quick look through so I've got a point for everything yeah and then for the long answer question at the end there's five points click back and that takes us back to the setup page once I've finished that I can then just close the form down and that now sits uh, within my forms area here so I've got the capital cities of the world that's in my recent uh, area and also because we set this up in forms so then if I was to go into office.com select forms it will have actually pulled it through as well so there's my capital cities of the world they do connect together and as we were saying earlier on it's only a matter of time before this functionality does come over uh, into office.com so now that's all set up let's go into teams and I can now create uh, an assignment with that form attached if I go into assignments I can click on create and I can go to quiz this automatically ties into Microsoft forms and there's our capital cities of the world so I can click on it select next that will then pull that through the title for the assignment is the title of the quiz again within assignments we can actually change the title on that it's fully editable we can add some instructions so here's our capital cities quiz so if I click it open it will open up forms within teams it will show me the questions and if I select the back option here I can edit the quiz if I wish and I can do that within teams not a problem but as it is I'm just going to leave that I'm just going to click close and that will then just take me back to the assignments page here it's pulled through the points value so we've got the 10 multiple choice questions and the additional five for the long answer question and it's going to go to my uh, geography year 11 group it's going to go to all the students like it would do in any other assignment and all I need to do then is select a date. I'm going to give my students a week in this case. I can give it a time as well, 1700 hours. And we'll just leave it at that. And then I will just assign that to my class. All the student then needs to do is then go into their assignments, open it up and complete the quiz like they would do any other self-marking quiz that, uh, that you may have set for them uh, in the past. So let's just go back into Microsoft Forms again. Select it on the top here. So let's take a quick look at how it performs with a PDF instead of a Word document. So again, I just select Import. I'm going to upload from the device. That brings up my File Explorer. And here I've got Capital Cities of the World. Click open. That just brings it over. And again, I can start the review or import a fresh quiz and as we can see as this is a PDF come across with no issues so I can close that window I can then go on to add a theme if I wish and also I can then bring in additional pictures and set it up like we did when we imported the Word document so as we've seen the import function for Word or PDF works both the same way so to finish the import button is a really great way of being able to bring over existing quiz templates that you may have set up using Microsoft Word or 
if you've got them set up uh, in a PDF format. If you wish to find out more about Cloud Design Box, please scan QR codes. Those will take you through to additional training videos and also onto our social media sites as well.